Hey guys, it's me Jewel. I know it's been a while since I have uploaded a video. And so I just, you know, I know there's a lot of fear going on in the YouTube community and I honestly don't understand why. <laughs> you know, um why should we fear? I I I don't understand. So I've just been praying about it. And of course, I can't upload anything unless the Lord gives me something. So I feel like he has given me something. I pray that this can be an encouragement to you. I'm going to open up in prayer. Lord, I just pray through your Holy Spirit. Please give me the words to say. Please give me the words to encourage and edify the brethren, the body of Christ, Lord Jesus. In your name, I pray. Amen. So, you know, I just re just recently uh, went finished going through my first Corinthians chapter 13 um, study series on love. What is love? And just to quickly recap, love is um, love is a person, right? Jesus. Now, per and, and Jesus is perfect. So perfection does not exist in our flesh. So charity, who is a person, which is agape love, which is a person, Jesus, right? Our flesh can never uh, exemplify those kind of attributes. Why? Because the flesh is dead. We're just reviewing real quick. The flesh is dead. So true love, the person, Jesus Christ, can only be manifested through our spirit, and that can only be done if we are resting in our identity in Christ, reckoning our old man, our flesh, to have been already crucified, condemned, done away with, and held in the place of death on the cross. Okay? Now, with that being said, um, perfect love cast out fear. Um, you can Google that. I can't right offhand tell you what the scripture reference for that is. But you can Google the words, perfect love casteth off fear. Um, and it'll tell you the scripture reference. Um, so Jesus is perfect love. So Jesus and fear are mutually exclusive, right? Right. So um, I'm, I'm just trying to encourage you guys. I just want you to slow down and feel think okay just slow down and think about what the word what scripture says okay um and for god hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind so when we are resting in jesus we have no fear our mind is calm we are breathing slower, more slowly. We are more intentional and less rushed. We are not hurrying, okay? We are not running everywhere like a chicken with its head cut off. Where, how did Jesus get from one place to the other? He walked. Did he run? No, he walked. How? By putting one foot in front of the other, and then the next foot in front of the other, and the next foot in front of the other. He walked. That is a perfect model for us in our journey, in our relationship and walk with Jesus. Um, we don't run in terms of out of panic or fear. That does not come from Jesus. That comes from the enemy. And the enemy uses that to keep us just, the enemy doesn't want you resting in your identity in Christ because that is when you were the most effective for, the, for Jesus in reaching others for him and edifying the body. So the enemy is going to, to do anything and everything he can to distract you from who you are and resting in who you are in Jesus. He's gonna distract you from reckoning your flesh to be dead um, condemned, done away with, and crucified eternally, forever and ever, and held in the place of death at Calvary on the cross. He wants to distract you to take your mind off of Jesus and onto the, the, the raging waves that are around you that is the world, okay? So 
just ask Jesus, say, you know, this, I have, hey, I am saying this to me too. I have, y'all, y'all know I'm bipolar, right? So need I say more? All right then. So I have to pray constantly, Lord, I'm freaking out here. And, you know, my brothers and sisters in Christ, who I, my close brothers and sisters in Christ, they know all about my illness. And when I'm having a bad day, I, but that's also what the body of Christ is for. But I'll, I'll message them, hey, I need y'all to pray for me because I'm going through this and this. Like, I know in my head it's irrational, but I need prayer. That's what the body of Christ is for. But, um, hold on. Y'all, I lost my train of thought. Where was I? Lord, please help me to remember. Where was I? Oh, goodness. Lousy. Um, but anyway, um, basically, the important thing is, to, oh, yeah, being distracted. So... Just ask Jesus and, and ask if you need prayer from other brothers and sisters in Christ, ask them to pray for you that God would give you peace and calmness. That reminds me, what are the fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, uh, faith, perseverance, long-suffering, I'm sure I didn't say that all right, but y'all get the idea. You can, it's Galatians 5.22, if you want to Google the scripture reference. Galatians 5.22. Um, let's see. Um, see, with my bipolar mind, I have a hard time memorizing scripture. So, <laughs> I haven't, so, so, hey, I'm definitely not perfect. And it's, I'm just thankful the Lord chooses to use an idiot like me. So, I'm just thankful to be used by the Lord, okay? So, <laughs> praise you, Jesus. Um, but anyway, um, just um, don't be afraid. Remember, ask Jesus to help you to remember who you are in Christ. Read through Romans. Read through the book of 1 Corinthians. Read through the epistles. This is what I've been doing. I've been following David Benjamin's advice. And it's not just because he said it. It's actually good advice. Um, read through one book of the New Testament like in one sitting. And, if, and I did that for several days, over the course of several days. Each day I'd read through the same book in one sitting and I would repeat for several days for that same book. And I, I was able to grasp a macro understanding of some key concepts that really helped to edify me that I otherwise would not have seen had I been lost in the details. Um, so now I'm doing the same three, same thing in the book of Romans. I'm reading through, like today, I read through the book of Romans in one sitting, Lord willing, should he tarry tomorrow? Lord willing, I plan to do the same thing. Read through the book of Romans in one sitting. Um, so, um, because I just feel like that for me, that's, that has been helping me, even though I can't really memorize scripture, reading through a book in one sitting does help me to see some overall themes that emerge throughout the book. So, which just helps me anyway. Um, but just remember who you are in Christ. Um, and don't be afraid. Like, okay, this three days of darkness that causes fear, you know, it's not from Jesus because anything that causes fear is not from Jesus. Also, it originates from the Catholic, whoever, whatever. I mean, you know, that that's not going to be biblical. So, um, you know, and then this... Um, what the technology that we are seeing, it could be very well a precursor to what will be after we are gone, what those who were left behind will have to face, but that does not apply to us, okay? So we are, the joy of the Lord should be our strength, okay? We are the bride of Christ. We are not appointed unto wrath, okay? And just worry is positionally dead. It accomplishes nothing. It's from your dead flesh. And the cares of this world are already positionally dead. Because when Jesus died on the cross and crucified our flesh, he also crucified all of creation. The old, the old creation. He crucified that on the cross as well. Thank you. Yes, praise Jesus. I'm going to end us in prayer. All right, Lord, thank you for this uh, message. I pray that you will use it, Lord. I pray that you will work through it in spite of my blundering and in spite of my not always getting the references right and the words right um in spite of me being bipolar i just pray that you work through it anyway lord i pray that you will glorify yourself i just pray this for the for the edification of my precious brothers and sisters in christ in jesus name i pray amen